I went to Rome. Wow. Pizza pasta. It's a me, Mario. Oh, now I'm aware of what Rome yes, means. Yeah, Thank yeah. you for. Have you ever been? Uh, no, but I often think about the Roman Empire. <gasps> What is that trend? That is wild. I mean, Very by the old, time that yeah. this comes out, it's probably been and gone, but mm. that is just mental. Like, Andrew literally asked me in front of the Roman Colosseum, <laughs> and I was like, and I'd, I'd, I'd seen, the only person whose video I'd seen of it was Amber and Casper, because she asked Casper. Yeah. But I didn't know that it was a trend, and I didn't really understand that. I just assumed because, like, they have, like, their own, like, little niche interest that maybe it was going to yeah. be something to do with them or whatever. And then I was, I remember thinking, like, why the fuck is he asking me this? Like... What what even is that? And we'd just been that day on a tour around the Colosseum, full like three hour long tour about the Roman Empire, and I was like fully like, no, I don't ever think. About it. <laughs> and I was like, what is wrong with me? Like, why didn't I think? But it is wild. I I fairly often think about it. That is just meant. I cannot express to you how little I think about the Roman Empire. Like for example, the, <laughs> the other the other day I saw. Uh, concrete in the road that had, a, that had a pothole and underneath was cobbled road and I was mm. like damn the Romans really had it all thought out of making those cobbled roads and like have uh -huh. you, do you know how roads are now they're just like yeah, they're just on layers top. and layers yeah, and layers, yeah, yeah, and layers. Yeah, yeah. like Romans wouldn't have had potholes no. cobbled stone brother oh, and honestly when I was there like at the Colosseum that was the first ever arena ever invented and it was so good mm. I was like I walked through this little bridge Imagine Lil Tay Tay Swift, like Taylor Swift there. could sell it out. That would yeah. be amazing. Oh my God, Taylor, <laughs> hire out the Coliseum, babe. What are you playing at? <laughs> Come on. I walked through this little bridge, and I vividly remember thinking, gladiators have walked through this to fight lions, and, and I've currently got you. stitch because I'd eaten too much carbonara. Yeah, like I would have died so quickly. I always think that when people say like, explain this to a Victorian kid. If I was alive during the Victorian ages, I would have died of like hair fever. Mm. Definitely. They would have like burnt me because they thought I was a witch. I can imagine you as being like a little street urchin. Same. <laughs> like <laughs> soot on the cheeks. Yes, yes. Very like, please sir, can I have some yeah, more? Yeah, Oliver Twist vibes. Yeah. Like his best mate who didn't get the press. No, no, no. But not skinny though. Mm, yeah. In fact, maybe, shut. No. I don't I know where I was going with that. I wouldn't that. endorse that. No, no, no As I a diet to. technique, no, just turning I, into a street urchin. No, I won't endorse that. But um, yeah, it was it was a great trip. Ended up, oh my gosh. So I told you, didn't I, about when we went to Paris and we ended up in this like weird sex club. Of course, well, of course you always end up in a sex club. Did in Rome as well. No way. What? Max Belegdi ended up in a sex God. club. Right, so I swear that these like... European cities just they don't have as many rules like that would this would not exist just in London. Out we are a European city. Oh shit, yeah, but like outside of London. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Um because literally Sorry, you're American. <laughs> I like went to Europe and I swear they have like completely different rules over there. Oh, it, yeah. Yeah, that's oh, if you're me. American. It's quite saying I went to Europe. I know, they, but they say like I've been to London and then to Europe like the two I mean I just did the same thing, <laughs> but um anyway. Um but Went to like nice like bars and stuff. Nothing too fancy there because it's like old and like Romanish. Shockingly, what's not fancy about Rome? It's not that fancy. It's more like a, a nice place to go. I wouldn't say it's a fancy place to go, really. Mm. Um, but yeah, we googled like, are there any like gay bars or anything? Because we just it was one night and we were like, oh, we just want to have like a bit of a dance, like see what happens, yeah. like have a few drinks. So we'd like fully scheduled. We we're gonna go for a meal and then we went to this one gay bar that yeah. was so tiny and it was like on this street like near the Colosseum so it was quite nice and they were playing exclusively Glee music and I was like this is my place but it was more like a sit down bar like it wasn't like you were telling me a gay bar was playing Glee mm -hmm. I don't believe it for a second it Max. was it was and it was amazing but it was more like right you just sit there and like have a drink like nobody was dancing yeah. so then we googled like gay bars for like dancing and there was one that opened at 11 and I was like the club opens at 11 like that must be that's crazy that's crazy they yeah. must be dancing all night long literally that's what we thought yeah. get there there's a queue outside. We're like, oh my God, there's already a queue. It's about to open and there's already a queue. That's a good sign. Mm. Get to the door and then they're like letting people one in at a time. And I was like, why are they letting people one, one in at in a time? One out. Well, that's, that's what we were thinking. That's usually your motto. Yeah, that's what we're thinking. Like, oh, it must yeah, be Yeah, my boys, line up. One in, one out. Literally. <laughs> and then get there. There's this like glass window and this guy's like, 
have you been here before? I'm like, no, no. He said it not. like that, did he? Yeah, have you been, he said, have you been oh, here mate, before? Oh, you've been here before, have you? <laughs> <laughs> he did not say it like that. Um, Up in, then, you know, when in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> when in Rome, babe. And then he was like, oh, you need a membership. So we were like, okay, then we have to buy a membership. And Can then... he's trying to do in his accent? You have membership? membership. Okay, do it in your own one again, oh, Okay. Um, yeah, he was like, do you have a membership? And we said no, obviously. Yeah. And then he made us buy a membership. And then I started to see like pulses and stuff like behind him and stuff that were very sexual. And that's when he said like, oh, it's because it is a cruising bar. And then I was like, cruising, why do I remember that word? And I remembered that I learned about cruising because people would cruise in tube station toilets, which basically means you just hang around there and like have sex with strangers. So me and Andrew go into this what's, bar. What's cruising about that? Cruise, I don't, I think there's like two meanings, like cruising in a car, but then cruising is like a, a, a term for like, oh, I'm gonna hang around and like see if someone wants to have sex with me. Like basically what you've been doing your entire life. You, yeah, uh, you at any party. Still cruising, guys. <laughs> you at any party. Anybody want to hop aboard, get a ticket. <laughs> Still cruising. Um, and then we walk in. Everybody looks at me and Andrew, like everyone. Bear in mind, it's that like mostly. That happens in any bar that you go in. Yeah, it does. It really does. Bear in mind, it's mostly like 50-year-old men. Yeah. I've never been more uncomfortable in my entire life. Well, you must have been like a piece of candy to them. Oh, man. yeah. But bear in mind, we just paid 40 a euros big old each. Right piece of candy. <laughs> Oh my god. A big old piece of fudge. Mm, I'll have that gob stopper, please. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> um, we, we got told that we got a free drink, though, because we paid 40 quid entry, including the, buying the membership. But you so, get a free drink, Max. So yeah, you know. so we were literally like, this is hell, but we get a free drink, so we're going to have the free drink. Yeah. We sat down. It was just people eyeing each other up. It was so uncomfortable. There was pouring on the walls. Nice. And we were Where like, Where is this place? I'll give you the address later. Thank you. Um, it was just very creepy. And downstairs was like steam rooms and stuff. It, like Places like that are just wild. Why do you always end up in these places? Because I just think a lot of like I can places, tell you, for, I, I've never ended up in one of these places. I think it's because I'm gay. And a lot of like in European uh, countries. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no. In places like, I mean, the only place I've been to them in like France and Rome, but I did go to that one in London, but that was like with my ex-boyfriend. And it's also it was not a European city. Thing. Yeah, so true, it's not a European city. Um, but yeah, I think we just like Google like gay play like party clubs or whatever, and those must just gay like, places to go. <laughs> those must just like fall under that category. I don't know, but I was very traumatized. Where to go to be gay? Yeah, literally. And then we went somewhere next door, um, and that was like okay. I met somebody who was a follower who was Italian, and I was like, how a does follower my, in terms of, well, of, of one me. of yours or in terms yes. of like ancient sort of oh, Jesus. one of Jesus's disciples? Yeah. Yes, I met him, Peter. Call me back, baby. I met a Roman follower. Um, but yes, what else? What else? That's about it. That's all I've been. I've been up to quite a lot, but that's about it. I've mm. covered all the bases. Anything else that's happening in your life? or? Uh, we're off to Milan, where we would have been by the time this has come out. Are you going as well? Did you not know this? No. I, I, literally, I, only I literally said, when you when you said, I, I was like, oh, are you going to Milan? You were like, yeah. And I was like, oh, same. I didn't think really? it was. Did think it was a bit of an underwhelming reaction. I didn't really. I thought you. I. I only registered that as like our last trip when we went to Milan. I didn't know that you were. You going to Milan? Yeah. I've also been to Is Milan. Is that what I said? I said yeah. You were like yeah. I didn't. I don't even remember you asking. Was that today? No. Oh yes. Yesterday. I, I do not remember you asking at all. You're yesterday. probably too worried about telling me, James you were going to work. Yeah, off true. Or yeah, said. true. Whatever I said. Oh my <laughs> god. I'm now. I'm upset again. Oh, that's going to be so good. That'll be good. Yeah. It's going to be a fun trip. I literally then, I said guess. before we started, I was like, I oh, we can make some TikToks together in Milan. I thought you were just referencing our old trip. I didn't, I don't know oh, why I didn't Oh, I speak think. about the past. I, I no I idea. tend to speak about the past like it's the future. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy kid. Oh, God, I can't wait to be born. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 